Well, the NTSB arrived about 30 minutes ago, but as you can imagine, still so many questions. And for the people who witnessed all of this, they're still shaken up, understandably. Now, I'm actually going to step out of the way so you can get a better picture of this scene because you can still see the scene still very active here right now. Now, the Valley Regional Fire Authority says around noon, that plane hit the roof of the IMI Precision Engineering Building into the building and hazmat crews have been on scene to mitigate that and clear it all up. But as you mentioned, one man died. We're still working to learn more about who that person is. But we can tell you they were the only person on the plane, according to Auburn police. Now, people who live and work around here say they heard a loud boom. There was no fire, but quite a bit of damage done to the building where the plane hit. Valley Regional Fire Authority says building inspectors are also out here checking on the building structure. And we spoke with some of those people who live and work in the area. Take a listen to what they had to say. Nobody in the building was injured at the time, but just to think of it's the middle of the work day. Yeah, yeah. This place is busy with trucks coming in and out all day long around here. I mean, you see them every day and you hear them. It's busy during peak hour. TJ Stufen, who works in the building, tells me this could have been a lot worse because only two people were working in the building at that time because they're actually getting ready to move to Mexico. And yesterday they had an employee lunch where there were about 30 people in this building. There's also a fuel farm across the street from where this happened. So he said, sadly, he could have been going to a lot of funerals. But as we mentioned, NTSB is here investigating. I'm told they came from Los Angeles. And uh, we, of course, will keep you posted and stay on top of this as that investigation happens. In Auburn, Sheer Matt Zala, Fox 13 News.